Welcome back to the fourth round of March's Legacy Challenge event. Uh, we are up 3-0 and we are facing a guy called Alakazi MDK. I practiced that ahead. And he looks to be on Miracles. Fortunately for us, uh, it's a pure mentalist. He doesn't have Entreat. He actually has one Entreat in the sideboard, which could be a problem. But in the main deck, he only has Mentor, which always favors Elves a little bit over the Entreat lists. So... I would like to play first and see where this goes. This is actually quite okay. In before he kills us with, I don't know, oops all spells in the first turn. Just he felt like he needed a change in his life and oops all spells just felt like the deck that he wanted. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, please don't fetch here. Uh, best case scenario, Panda. Worst case scenario, Swords or Top. And it starts. That's already pretty bad for us. Uh, here I'm just gonna pass and gonna fe I'm gonna fetch a Dryad Arbor and then hopefully get something out of Quarian Ranger next turn. We could have also just played Quarian Ranger and played Dryad Arbor and then one, two, three, f attacked for ten. But oh, Mountain. Okay. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't have another sorts of plushies here. I mean, we get extra value with Pendlehaven, but <laughs> that's not gonna be good enough. Uh, okay, let's see. Are you gonna counter this, sir? He doesn't know whether he wants to counter it, I guess. Like, if he sorts the plowshares now, he kinda missed his opportunity at his own end step, I guess, but maybe he didn't have a stop set. So we just skipped right into our own turn, but then he still could have tried an upkeep and draw step. But maybe he was just too slow. Because if you what are you gonna like what did you expect me to, to not have something to follow up the glimpse with? Because this doesn't really help the glimpse very much. Um so why counter this? Oh really okay, so he really just missed. And I guess that's fine for us. It's it's not that bad. So, uh, I mean it would have been quite bad had he done it at, at, at his own end step. But I didn't. Okay. Um, maybe I should have played Cradle just because of this. Yeah. Hmm. I could have played Cradle because then I could have attacked for 17 next turn. Uh, now I can't. Well, technically I could attack for 11. Uh, if memory serves right, two creatures, one of them can attack. Uh, 7 and 4, yeah, 11. Oh, he, okay. Land, I guess. He wants to make the land drop. That mountain must be so awkward for him. Ca still can't play counterbalance. I guess next turn he can go Snapcaster, which is like, what? That brainstorm feels so wrong. <laughs> like, seriously wrong. But okay. Um, <laughs> Should I just get Leobold? Maybe you put Terminus on top. He could have... Yeah, he maybe put Terminus on top and wanted to get sense to find top out there. Uh, in any case, I would have really liked to attack for 17 here. I also feel it's awkward to send it for Leobold now just to get it terminated. So maybe I should just attack for 4 and play my dry double and then see what he's up to. Because if he actually finds counterbalance, we still have this. And then he's also tapped out of blue, at least of counter spell mana, so like we've got a couple of options then. So let's just see what happens. Since the brainstorm looked so awkward, I would think it's maybe Terminus. But, th but he wouldn't really give it away so easily. Is he floating Terminus now? <laughs> maybe maybe he doesn't even have Terminus. Maybe his top is like land, land, land. It's like, uh, no fetch land. Stupid deck. I was told there would be fetches. Okay, random swords. Not really much to read into it. Okay. So are we gonna try to create our card advantage and card advantage engine or are we gonna try to go for Leo Vault? I think card advantage engine is the correct call here. Because he doesn't have um entreat the angels, we're not gonna die like out of the blue. And <laughs> he's even like quite far away from making mentor an extra threat. And him forcing this pitch force feels like really good. Okay, but because he did that, hmm, 
No, I'm not 100% sure anymore, but I think... That's uh, it's, it's weird, because I can't get Leowald here. But I guess I can draw a card, but I can also do that post-combat. Oh, this, this is playing the Cradle pre-combat and then attacking. Oh, that was so bad. Ah, uh, yeah, because... Uh. I mean, there have been much worse Termini, Termini for me, but... I think he might not have Terminus here, had I not played the Cradle. And then, yeah... I mean, it's it's not horrible for us, because next turn we can still like draw, to, draw a card. And we're also drawing a card for the turn, our Predict. Ah. This is a situation where Predict is good against Elves, because he's super low on cards, and he really needs to make something happen. And he can't continue trading one for one, so he has to, has to Predict and just hope that Predict actually finds a relevant card. I'm not gonna lie, my mana and lands management has been really horrible this game. Death right? Oh! <laughs> I asked for Easter, and I got my birthday. <laughs> Chase? I could actually kill Chase on this board. I wonder whether I should just try to natural order for the win here. I would be for 11, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. Counterbalance, okay. And he doesn't have white. It's tempting. Can I do both? One, two, yeah, I think I can. I can attack for 10 and draw a card. I think that's even better. Okay, elf. Oops, what's this? Oh, that's from the bread I had earlier. Okay, anyway, so hmm, I could play this and hope that he doesn't have a 2 on top, but I think it's safer to do it like this. Even though. Going for this would be lethal if this resolves. Or would it? I think no, no, it wouldn't be. Actually, it would. Nah. <laughs> King. Ah, uh, but I don't want to. <laughs> don't want to sacrifice my stuff now. He's already out of two, two force of fields. How many force of fields did he have? Yeah, four. Okay. Any other things that matter? Just a single chase. So I'm like. The thing I'm most afraid of here is him untapping into chase. Oh, but he's running two, th three counter spells and he's out of counter spells right now. Oh, it's so tempting, but then I lose my draw engine. I think I'm just gonna keep going like this. And next time I'm gonna cast Heritage to it and sacrifice it, make a noble sacrifice to natural order. He actually only has... how many force does he have? Yeah, he only has the single chase. But he's got three counter spells, so... He's super likely to have counter spell next turn, but maybe he's gonna play Mentor now. Who knows? If he plays Mentor, then he still has enough for counter spell. Nice selection of lands. Okay, now everything changes. Cha or does it? Say this. One, two, three. Can I do both again? Maybe I really just need to create card advantage. It's a bit harder in the first game against Mentor to go for the card advantage plan because you can't handle Mentor with um, Decay. But you can still like, try a couple of things. Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. I mean, I could natural order here, but it really feels like counter spell. I don't know. But is it gonna get better anytime soon? I just really don't want him to, to go Snapcaster, Swords. <laughs> he already played four Swords of Plowshares? What the fuck? Really? Did I actually... Okay, why? How many Snapcasters does he have? Three. <laughs> I really don't know, guys. I think I'm gonna try to make Hardcast be a moth happen at some point. 
since he doesn't have a card advantage engine yet. But we're also like in trouble, we are not like set up to generate a card advantage engine soon. Unless you can find Senate or Reclamation Sage for counterbalance. And if you get Senate and he counterspells it, that makes it more likely for natural order to resolve, I guess. He already used one terminus as well. It's not predict. Ah Can we deck him? What is he gonna put up with probably some land? He puts away a counterbalance, okay. On a board like this, well, uh, hmm, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't hate having a second counterbalance, but maybe his other cards are that much better. Which of course could be a good reason. Reclamation Sage, I can has. I think we, at some point, we were like in a really good position, but then something happened. And then we weren't in a really good position anymore, which is like awkward. Oops. Oh no, he hasn't declared blockers yet. Not that it matters much. You get it in there. And next turn we will just try to hardcast Behemoth and probably trade it for a counter spell. But that's okay, I guess. Getting to draw a card that's most of the time useless in your hands to trade for a card we really don't want him to have here feels okay. Oh, whoa, hmm, oh, change. Ah, hmm, <laughs> I think that's even better. Oh, no, no, don't type like this. Le Leovolt. Oh, the old would be so insane if he even made like all of your spells uncounterable. Or like you draw a card whenever they counter one of your spells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that must be the counter spell. Or even hardcast force if you have. Oh, force pitch predict, so he didn't have counter spell. Force pitch predict, okay. Desperation. He didn't even try to check the top, but I guess had he had Chase, he would have played it last turn. Ah, well, yeah. He could play Chase and then bounce Heritage Shoot so you don't lose Chase, or he could plus two Chase to basically gain some life. That must be... I would think that's a Snapcaster, but then we still get... Oh, Terminus? Oh, no. But no, no, no. Entreat! I was told that there wouldn't be Angels. MTG Goldfish lied to me. Just like my mom. No. <laughs> um. Oh. Nuclear launch detected. Oh. Double kill. That's bad. Unless he screws it up somehow. Yeah, if he attacks with everything and doesn't have anything, then we can attack for the for the. Yes, and now if he doesn't have anything, we can natural order for the kill, unless we draw Behemoth. Huh, now we can attack for even more. One, two, three, four. <laughs> that would be like a free win if we actually got that, because we w should never be able to get that. Even if he has to go for Terminus here, that would be kind of a win. Draw, uh... I guess the counter spellers have to finally show up. Ah, uh, too bad. Close! So, miracles again. Come on, here we go. Oh, okay, I would like all of these. And the discard, and surgery girls. Don't want any of these, don't want this. <laughs> I, I, I was just about to check the language because in paper I have a French one and an English one and whenever I cite one out I, I try to cite out the English one. So if they want to read it, like uh, uh, it's much easier for them to actually read the card. So... I don't remember what I did last time. Did I, did I do it like this? Then like this? Oh yeah, the second one of these. Okay. I guess I could check this once again, but I was already like two once. 
But if that's his list. Renation can be super scary for elves sometimes. Kozilek's return, Flaster Storm, yeah, nothing special. Mountain. Oh, I guess the mountain should have tipped me off. Since it's not in the main deck. Okay. Maybe he's not even playing this list. Maybe this is even a different guy. Maybe it's his mother playing on his account. I don't know. And she's got like a super special sweet build of anti elves miracles. Who knows? Heritage, Heritage, Schnell, of Korean. Sounds a about right, I think. Did I sideboard differently last time? It didn't. Okay, let's submit this and turn to... Oh, where is Nyssa? Oh, she's here. Okay. <laughs> and turn to Nyssa him. Actually, if you turn to Nyssa, you might as well just kill him because you're in a glimpse turn anyway. <laughs> well, this is not turn to Nyssa. As much as I would like to keep this because it has like cool cards. Ugh. Ah, now we need to draw something. And definitely not this. Okay. Do your worst, opponent. Like, if he goes Thoughts of Plowshares here, I wouldn't mind drawing Surgical. I'm closing my eyes. Oh, I'm opening them. Blue mana, blue mana, blue mana, blue mana, blue mana, blue mana. Or no blue mana. So lucky. Ah, should be so lucky. I guess I could play this and then hopefully hit another elf next turn so I can get black mana. On the other hand, I can still do that. Yeah. If I draw another elf, I play this, then I play Cradle, then I play the elf, and then, can, then I can even decay. Only problem would be if he played Counterbalance here and had a random one on top. Okay. Okay, okay. That's the best two creatures you can sort in the matchup, unfortunately. But you, you have to take risks. Like, if you're playing conservative, especially with elves against miracles, they will usually just win. Like, you always have to take certain risks. <laughs> the, that's like the dickish move. Like, when even when people don't realize. Like, if... Uh, yeah, let's not get into that. <laughs> a Liberate Storm. I guess, unless he finds a filter land, <laughs> he still can't counterbalance here. What would this be? Explosive Sworn, okay. Now I can even like shut them down if I wanted to, but I guess I don't even want to. Um, <laughs> let's try this. And then draw a card and thought see some. And the card I really want to hit here is Chase, but he's only playing a single copy. I Basically, like in these situations, I really want to hit the card advantage engine. Uh, I hate taking Predict. But I probably have to. Yeah, Force of Her Ponder. The Force of Her probably later on trade for one of the glimpses. And we will see. Okay, still Force of Her Ponder. Uh, is there a way we can do something cool? I don't see it. Yeah. Oh, please don't have angels. Somebody should do a time lapse of me talking about how he doesn't have Entreat the Angels and how the matchup gets so much better when they don't have Entreat the Angels to this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess you have to lose at some point. <laughs> that gives me more time to clean up the mess that I call my apartment. I guess technically if I draw a black source I can angel uh, decay an angel and then murder another angel and then if he just finds more crap and permission and stuff I can slowly grind him out since he doesn't have ch uh, only has one chase actually he probably plays like five chase like four chase and baby chase because thus far I've been wrong about pretty much everything <laughs> 
I think I'm just gonna play this into into explosives because my only hope here is for him to not blow explosives anyway. And there goes that. Ultra kill. Yeah. I think there's no card in magic, no card in my deck that can win from here. Oh well, we got a full house, but what do you have opponent? Something better! Angels full of islands. Actually it's islands full of angels if you, in case you play poker. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Can't win them all, see you next round.